Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video I'd like to take a closer look at the Pottinger cat study. Now Dr. Francis Pottinger did a really interesting study back in the 1930s. In a 10 year period of time he went through 900 cats, had two groups of them, fed them the same food except half of them, he let them eat it the way they'd eat it in nature, and the other half he made them eat it the way we eat it. He cooked it for them. Wasn't doing those cats any favors. The results are nothing but amazing. He showed that the cats that ate the altered food had the same types of problems that we had. The illnesses, the ill behaviors, and on and on and on. And I'm not going to go into any details at this t time about this study because I have before in other videos. And I know a lot of people are going to argue saying, okay, now look, we know that cats have a, 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 an essential need for taurine and it's only a non-essential need for, all, for ours and it's destroyed by cooking so therefore we can't extrapolate the Pottinger cat study with all the other studies and that's the point of this video. Bullshit! We sure in the hell can. In fact, we can do this study with every animal on this planet and I can guarantee you one thing. You take every animal, every species, feed them the food they're supposed to eat raw, cook it for them, and cooking's not going to do them any better. It's going to make them sick and worse. And we're no exception. It boggles my mind that we can actually think that's doing something good. But yet I guarantee you, there is not one animal on this planet that's going to do better when you alter their food. Just like the cats. They're going to have the same problems. And it doesn't matter if it's the taurine that's being destroyed or whatever. It's destroying the food. And when you stop destroying your food, you know what happens, don't you? You're in for a treat. 